गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास इलेवेंथ वी आर डिस्कसिंग चैप्टर वन इन बिजनेस स्टडीज यस्टरडे वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द राइज ऑफ इंटरमीडरीज हाउ दे प्लेड एन इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल इन ट्रेड जब इंटरमीडरीज लाइक बैंक्स ब्रोकर्स कमीशन एजेंट डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर्स ये सब जब इमर्ज हुए तो इससे क्या हुआ कि एक्सपोर्ट एक्सीड होगा इम्पोर्ट से अब एक्सपोर्ट और इम्पोर्ट तो आप जानते हैं एक्सपोर्ट मीन्स टू सेल गुड्स आउट ऑफ द कंट्री एंड इम्पोर्ट मीन्स टू बाय फ्रॉम अदर कंट्री सो एक्सपोर्ट कैसे एक्सीड हुए क्योंकि जब यहाँ के इंडियन ट्रेडर्स को बहुत सारा क्रेडिट पे लोन मिलने लग गया क्रेडिट ट्रांजेक्शन्स के लिए जब उनको हेल्प मिलने लग गई बैंक से तो वो एक्सपोर्ट्स ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा करने लगे वो लोन लेके वो गुड्स प्रोड्यूस करते इंडिया में और वो फिर एक्सपोर्ट करते तो इस तरह से एक्सपोर्ट्स एक्सीडेड इम्पोर्ट एंड इट बेनिफिटेड इंडिजिनियस बैंकिंग सिस्टम बिकॉज पीपल वर कंटिन्यूसली टेकिंग लोन्स फ्रॉम बैंक्स एज वेल एज इंडिजिनियस बैंकिंग सिस्टम ऑल्सो मीन्स फ्राम सेट एंड साउकार ऑल्सो ओके सो दस ऑल दीज इंटरमीडरीज वर बेनिफिटेड बाई इट After that, we discussed maritime trade, merchant corporation, and finally, major trade centers in India. Now, today we will discuss all major trade centers of India before the arrival of British. So, the first trade center was Patliputra, which was famous for export of stones. Second is Peshawar. See, Peshawar is in present. Pakistan and here Patliputra you can see here it is in Bihar. So Peshawar was famous for export of wool and import of horses. Then third is Taxila. But ये Taxila दो थे India में. एक Taxila जो था present Pakistan में है and एक Taxila जो था वो Takshila University थी. ठीक है Bihar में. which was a center for learning and this taxila which was in pakistan here also many buddhist monasteries were there and neolithic site also was there and an archaeologist have found many other neolithic tools over there then fourth major trade center was indraprastha which was a commercial route on royal road next major city was mathura then next was varanasi Here number six. Okay, then seventh number, Mithila. Here the seventh number, Mithila. You can see here, which is in Bihar. Then eighth number here in MP, Ujjain. Then ninth number, Surat, which is in South Gujarat. Then tenth number, Kanchi, which is in Tamil Nadu. Madurai also was in Tamil Nadu. Then twelfth number. This is in this is Baruj, which is in Gujarat. Then on thirteenth number, major trade center was Kaveri Patnam, which is in Karnataka. And last was Tamralipti, which was the greatest port connected by both sea and land, and which is in Kolkata, West Bengal means near Kolkata. It is. Now today we'll start the second half of the chapter. That is. nature and purpose of the business and in which we will discuss economic and non economic activities in my first video i have discussed one example if i am teaching you in school or online teaching for the earning purpose here my purpose is to earn though i am directly not providing any of the product or any object to you but i am providing service but here my my activity would be considered as a, an economic activity but if the same moment i am teaching at my home to my kids then it will be considered as non economic activity in the same way if a person is cooking food in a restaurant then he is doing that particular job for the economic purpose and if he is cooking food at his own house then his activity would be considered as non economic activity so all human beings have different types of needs so in order to fulfill those needs they have to perform some or other activity so human activities are classified in economic and non economic activities economic activities are those whose objective is to earn money and to create wealth but 
non-economic activities are those whose aim is not to earn money but to satisfy social, psychological and emotional need like for example love, sympathy and patriotism. Like a mother is cooking food out of love for his kids. If you are helping a blind man to cross the road, you are doing that act out of sympathy and if you are paying homage to the soldiers, you are doing that particular task out of patriotism. Next main objective is of economic activities is to generate goods or services to earn profit but aim of non-economic activities is to achieve mental satisfaction and examples already we have discussed. Now if we talk about the concept of business as I told you earlier also that business is derived from the word busy which means to remain busy in some or other economic activity. So business is defined as an economic activity involved in the production and sales of goods and but here it is, it is not seniors, it is services, sales of goods and services undertaken with the motive of earning profit. Or earning profit is the not the only profit of the businessman. They're, they are providing goods and services by satisfying human needs in society. Because if they will not fulfill this criteria, means if they will not satisfy human needs, then their goods will not be purchased by the society. Society will reject the goods and services provided by the businessman. So earning profit as well as to satisfy human needs also is very essential for a business activity. Here in business studies, whenever we will discuss any concept or any definition, it will surely have the characteristics Okay, so let's discuss the characteristics of business. Here I have an acronym for you to remember all these characteristics. That is, that is E square P square S U D. Episud. Ek chukana hai sutu sutu karda. Punjabi mein hai na sutu sutu karda. So usse aap learn kar sakte ho aur usse associate kar sakte ho is acronym ko. E for an economic activity next e for element of risk then third is p for production or procurement of goods and services again p for profit earning then s s stands for sale or exchange of goods and services then so do u for uncertainty of returns and last d d for dealing in goods and services on a regular basis now let's discuss in detail. Now what is economic activity? Because its main objective is to earn money. If there is no money earned there, then that activity will not be considered as business activity. Then it will be a social work. Now second characteristic, production or procurement of goods and services means यहाँ पे production भी हो रहा है या फिर उसका procurement means उसकी purchasing भी हो रही है दोनों ही activities business activities में involved की जाती है business includes all the activities concerned with the production of procurement of goods and services production किया जा रहा है या sale और purchase किया जा रहा है for the purpose of sales ओके okay, अगर सेल्स नहीं है वो खुद के अपने यूज के लिए सेल्फ यूटिलाइज करने के लिए अगर प्रोडक्शन कर रहा है तो वो बिजनेस में इंक्लूड नहीं होगा अगर एक फार्मर है वो खुद के लिए कोई भी एग्रीकल्चरल क्रॉप वो ग्रो कर रहा है देन इट विल नॉट बी कंसीडर्ड एज बिजनेस इफ ही इज प्रोड्यूसिंग फॉर द री फॉर द रीसेलिंग पर्पस देन ओनली इट विल बी कंसीडर्ड एज अ बिजनेस and service includes transportation, banking, insurance, advertisement, etc. Third point, we already have discussed sale or exchange of goods and services because when a trader is procuring goods or services for reselling purpose, not for his own consumption, then only it will be considered as business activity. Okay, next is 
dealing in goods and services on a regular basis up suppose you have sold your mobile on a profit would it be considered uh, as a business activity are you continuously dealing in trading of mobile क्या तुम रेगुलरली मोबाइल ही खरीदते और बेचने का काम कर रहे हो नहीं सिर्फ एक बार प्रॉफिट गेन किया है ठीक है ये प्रॉफिट अर्निंग मोटिव है ठीक है इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी भी है बट क्या ये रेगुलर बेसिस पे हो रही है इफ इट इज नॉट गोइंग ऑन अ रेगुलर बेसिस देन इट विल बी नॉट कंसिडर्ड एज बिजनेस बिकॉज देर शुड बी रेगुलरिटी ऑफ डीलिंग्स और एक्सचेंज ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज वन सिंगल ट्रांजेक्शन ऑफ सेल और परचेज डज नॉट कॉन्स्टिट्यूट बिजनेस ओके द नेक्स्ट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इज प्रॉफिट अर्निंग द मेन पर्पज ऑफ बिजनेस इज टू अर्न प्रॉफिट अ बिजनेस कैन नॉट सर्वाइव विदाउट मेकिंग प्रॉफिट सो बिजनेस मैन ट्राई टू मैक्सिमाइज प्रॉफिट बाई इंक्रीजिंग द वॉल्यूम ऑफ सेल्स और रिड्यूसिंग कॉस्ट देन नेक्स्ट इज अनसर्टेंटी ऑफ रिटर्न बिकॉज there is no surety that he will gain profit or loss every business invest money with the objective of earning profit but amount of profit earned may all very profit jo har saal profit hua hai wo different different ho sakta hai wo उसमें वेरिएशंस हो सकते हैं एंड देर इज ऑलवेज अ पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ लॉसेस ऐसा नहीं है कि हमेशा और हमेशा प्रॉफिट ही होगा लॉस भी हो सकता है सो अनसर्टेंटी ऑफ रिटर्न कोई श्योरिटी नहीं है एंड लास्ट इज द एलिमेंट ऑफ रिस्क इज ऑलवेज देयर ऑल बिजनेस एक्टिविटीज के रीज सम एलिमेंट्स ऑफ रिस्क बिकॉज फ्यूचर इज अनसर्टेन एंड बिजनेस हैज नो कंट्रोल ओवर सेवरल फैक्टर्स लाइक स्ट्राइक्स फायर थेफ चेंज इन कंज्यूमर टेस्ट एक्सेट्रा so that's all for today thank you